Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Epic Knowledge. So in the previous tutorial, we added product to our card. Here you can see. So in this tutorial, we are going to do the order part. It means we'll have a order option over here. If the customer click on the order option, then all the product that we have in the card will be moved to the order table. So obviously we'll create a table called order and we'll move those uh, data to the order table if the customer want to confirm their order. Now for confirming the order, there will be two options the customer will get. One will be cash or delivery and another option will be pay using card. So customer can choose either of them, any of them. They can, customer can decide they will pay on delivery or they will just pay before using the, using their card, whether this is MasterCard, debit card or any kind of card so in this tutorial first we are going to do uh, do the cash on delivery part first so let's go and add the design for the order so so let's go back to our code and we'll directly go to resource then views then we'll go to homes and inside home here you can see show card dot blade dot php so we'll just directly go down so here uh, you can see inside this tf total price written over here which is uh, this one here you can see total price so after this total price uh, we are going to make some design for the payment or for the order so here uh, after this tf let's just declare another div and inside this div we are going to say here uh, h on tag and inside this h on tag let's say here uh, proceed to order and here we are going to add a anchor tag and inside this anchor tag we are going to say here cash on delivery and we are going to add a, a bootstrap class so we will say our here class it will be btn btn uh, btn btn danger and we will add another option which will be pay using card so copy it and paste it here and here we are going to say pay using card so let's save it Control s and let's just refresh here so here you can see proceed to order and uh, we have two button cash on delivery and pay using card now let's make this uh, a little bit bigger and let's also have some gap uh, so let's go and here you can see h on tag so inside this h on tag let's say here style and we are going to say here uh, font size let's say 25 px and uh, let's say padding padding bottom or uh, let's say 15 px save it then let's just refresh here okay this is better now what we want is that if we click on the cash on delivery option then all the product we have in the cart will be stored in a different table called order so now right now let's go and first create a order table so that we can uh, move all those data to the order table so here you can see this is the this is our card table and we'll have almost all the same data on the order table as well we just have a few more extra uh, column on the order table so for creating a order table so let's go back to our uh, cmd and here for creating the table uh, we are going to mention write a command we we'll say here php artisan make this clone we we'll say here model then we'll mention our table name which is order then we'll give over here minus m so it will uh, create model and migration at the same time in the database so let's press enter and here you can see model created successfully and migration is also created so right now if you go to our code and if you go to app then uh, inside app here you can see models and inside model here you can see order.php so order model is created and if we go to our database and inside database here you can see migration and inside migration here you can see create order underscore table dot php which is this one so here we are going to add some column so in the order table we'll have the logged in use the user data and the product data okay so first of all uh, here if you go to our card table here you can see we have the user a name email phone address product title price quantity image product image uh, product id and user id so we will basically have all the same data in the order table but we'll have a few more extra field as well so first let's go and write all those table data so here we are going to say here dollar table then we we'll see our here string to first bracket to single quotation and first we'll say our here name and let's make it nullable so after name we'll have a email 
phone number and address as well and then we'll all have the port we'll have the product data i mean the product column so let's paste it a few times uh, okay so after name we'll have over here email then this one will be for uh, phone then we'll say over here it will be address after address we'll also get the user id so let's say over here uh, user underscore id so the user details part is done so now let, let's write the product details part so here we are going to say over here uh, product underscore title then we also have or oh, let me check uh, product quantity price image uh, then we also have product id as well so here we are going to say here quantity quantity then price then we have the product image then we'll also have the product id as well product underscore id and right now we'll have actually two more field and that will be payment status and delivery status uh, whether payment is done or not and whether delivery is completed or not okay so here uh, let's say here payment underscore uh, status then here we are going to say delivery underscore status so yeah everything i think uh, everything is fine so now let's save it control s now let's go to our cmd command prompt and here we are going to say php artisan migrate let's press enter and here you can see migration is done so right now if you go to our database let's just refresh here and here you can see we have order table over here if i click on it here you can see all the column over here name email phone address uh, product id product details payment status and delivery status so order table creation is done so what we want is that if someone click on this cash on delivery option then all this data will be moved to the order table so let's go back to our code and uh, we'll go to our showcard.bread.php and here you can see cash on delivery uh, we have it inside the anchor tag and here you can see href so inside this href we are going to mention a url so we say here url to pass bracket let's keep two single quotation and inside it we are going to say let's say cash underscore order so right now we'll go to our web.php and create this route so let's go to our route then web.php and let me just copy this on Control C and then Control V and here uh, the route will be get and here we are going to say or cash sorry it was let me just check it over here it, it was cash underscore order so let's say over here cash underscore order and uh, we will use home controller for this and here the function name in the home controller will be let's say the same thing cash underscore order let's save it right now we'll go to our home controller and write this function cache underscore order so let's go to our app then http then controller and here you can see home controller so we'll just directly go down and uh, here we are going to write a function called public function it will be cache underscore order to first bracket and we'll give to second bracket now before we write the code to upload all those data to the order table we need to uh, write the order model name at the top of our controller so we'll go at the top and here you can see use app backslash model backslash card so let me just copy it and paste it over here and here we are going to mention our order model name so we we'll see over here use app backslash model backslash order so right now let's go down and here uh, inside this cache underscore order function first of all what we'll do is that uh, we'll find out which user is currently logged in uh, because here if you go to our card table uh, here you can see that the username over here uh, over here you can see the username is yamin and if you go to the user table you can see that for yamin the user id is 22 here you can see so in the card table we also have the user id column over here and for yamin uh, here you can see yamin the user id is 22 and this user id has bought 
three products. So here you can see uh, 22, 22 and 22 and all this product is bought by this user with the id 22 so what we'll do is that first of all we'll figure out which user is logged in right now and we'll check those uh, that id over here that user id over here and by doing that we'll be able to get all the data we have in the card table for that specific logged in user okay i hope uh, you are clear you will be more clear as you follow, follow the tutorial so here first of all we'll just declare a variable let's say here dollar user equal to we'll say our here auth double clone we'll say here user so using dollar uh, using auth we'll be able to get the logged in user data uh, in this dollar user variable so here we can just do a thing and that is we'll just say our here user dollar user id we are just declaring a variable over here this is just a variable that we declare and then here you can see dollar user so using this dollar user we'll be able to get the logged in user id okay so currently if i just say over here dd to first bracket then if we just say over here uh, this one dollar user id over here in d to the semicolon save it then if we just uh, refresh here then if you click on the cache on delivery here you can see uh, we are able to get the id 22 which is this one okay so uh, what we are going to do is that right now we will declare another variable let's say this variable name will be uh, let's say dollar data let's say dollar data is equal to here uh, what we will do is that uh, we will uh, search this user id in the card table so for it what we have to do is that uh, we are going to mention the card table then we'll give our hair uh, double clone then we'll say our hair where to first bracket to single quotation and here we are going to say our hair user underscore id and where is this user underscore id coming from uh, if you go to the card table here you can see card table and here you can see user underscore id so we'll try to match this user underscore id with the logged in user id so here we are going to say we are going to say here uh, or we are going to give a comma we'll give two single quotation and inside this single quotation we'll give equal sign then we'll give another comma and here you can see user under user id so we'll just copy it and paste it here so we don't have to give a single quotation for it then we'll just keep this arrow sign and we'll show our here get so right now what will happen is that uh, in the card table we'll search the logged in user id in uh, matches with the card table user underscore id so here uh, the logged in user id is 22 so it will search in the card table that how many uh, user id 22, 22 is here and uh, here you can see three uh, user id with 22 <coughs> and it will get all the data from here uh, for the user id 22 because we write over here get so i hope right now you are clear up until whatever i am trying to say so right now here you can see dollar data okay let me just show you using dd uh, whether we can get all the data or not so we'll see over here dollar data which is uh, this dollar data is this one okay so right now if we save it then if we just refresh here here you can see something like this if i click on this item arrows here you can see three data because we have uh, three data for this user 22 so if i just uh, okay here you can see that uh, the product title is uh, shirt body for women and laptop so here uh, for the first one if you check check this one uh, here you can see shirt then if you check the second one uh, here you can see that uh, the product title is boutique for women and the last one was laptop right so here the last one should be laptop uh, here you can see that the last product title is laptop so we are able to get all the data so let's just remove this dd so right now uh, what we want is that we want to store all those data to a new table which is called order table so uh, since this is not a single data but this is multiple data so in order to upload multiple data to a different table we need to use a for each loop we'll see over here for each then we'll see over here 
t is dollar data control c control v s let's just say dollar data then we will give to second bracket so inside this for each loop we'll write the code to upload all those data to the order table so for it uh, first of all we need to declare a variable let's say the variable name will be order equal to we'll say over here new order now this order is the table name okay and uh, this is just a variable we just declare you can declare this variable anything you want so right now uh, what we'll do is okay let me just show you the order table here you can see this is the order table and here you can see we have name email phone address okay let's also open the card table as well and in the card table we also have the name email phone address as well so here uh, you can see name uh, in the order table right so here uh, here you can see dollar order so we'll say over here dollar order then this arrow sign then we we'll say over here name and here you can see this name this name will come from the order table here you can see this is the order table and here you can see name this name is for the order table okay and here in the dollar data variable we have all the data in the card table and we are using this for each loop we'll be able to get uh, all the data on by on so here we'll say over here dollar data this arrow sign and this time this dollar data uh, in, inside this dollar data we have the card table data for the specific user so here in the card table here you can see for name we also use name over here you can see name so here we are going to say over here name so the first one uh, this name will come from the order table and this name will come from the card table so i hope you are clear so let me just copy it and uh, let's just paste it uh, multiple time okay so after name uh, we have the email so let's say here email let me just give some space so that you can see clearly so after name we'll have over here a uh, phone then we'll have address address so after address we will also get the user id so let me just check how i declared user id in the order table so in the order table this is the card table so in the order table uh, you can see we write the user id like this user underscore id and in the order table we also write it the same way so here we are going to say over here user underscore id user underscore id so after user id let's get the product title so in the board table we write product title like this product underscore title uh, let me just mention it again the first one will come from the order table and the second one will come from the card table so after product title we have the price so let's say over here price after price here we have quantity quantity and product image as well so let's say here image and we also have also have product id as well so let's say over here product id product underscore id so after getting the user details and product details we'll get two more thing and if you go to our uh, order table here you can see we have two more thing which is payment status and delivery status so at the beginning the delivery status will be like processing or something and uh, since we are writing uh, this function uh, this uh, public function cash order for the cash on delivery so by default the payment status will be cash on delivery or we can say unpaid something like this uh, anything you prefer since this is just a cash on delivery uh, we can say unpaid or cash on delivery for it so here uh, we are going to say about here dollar order then this arrow sign and we say here payment underscore status equal to we'll give two single quotation and let's say it will be uh, cash on delivery and then uh, we'll have the dollar order this arrow sign it will be delivery status delivery underscore status and the, the delivery status will be let's say processing uh, you can see anything uh, i'll just go with processing and after it we'll just say over here dollar order this arrow sign we we'll say here save so after saving the data we want to stay on the 
same page after storing the data so here after the second bracket here you can see uh, we have for each loop started over here and it ended over here so after this for each loop we are going to say over here return redirect uh, return redirect just back for now return redirect back so you need to make sure that you write this after the for each loop uh, second bracket if you write this inside the inside this then it will store only on data because after uh, if you write this uh, over here inside the for each loop then after storing this single data it will just return back so it won't be able to store multiple data so you need to make sure that you write it after the this second bracket okay so let me just explain it a little bit again uh, so that uh, you are more clear so first of all here we are getting the logged in user data in this user variable then we are getting the user id then we are checking uh, in the card table whether that specific user id exists or not and if that user id exists we are getting all the data for the specific id and storing it in this dollar data variable then we are running this for each loop a dollar data as dollar data uh, so then uh, over here we declare another variable dollar order equal to new order which is our table name this is the order table name and then uh, in the order table name column we are storing the name from the card table so since this is a for each loop so we will get the data from the card table on by on and we will store all the data over here so i hope up until now everything is clear i am trying to make it as simple as possible so right now if we now save it then if we just uh, refresh here and here if i just click over here cash on delivery it shouldn't give us an error okay there is no error and if we go to our uh, order table here you can see this is the order table and if we just refresh here uh, here you can see three data over here yamin 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 here you can see product title a shirt boutique for women then we have a laptop as well now there is one more issue and that is we already have all those product in our order table so we shouldn't have those in the cart over here so once we uh, move all the data to the order table we should delete those data from the cart table so here okay let me just uh, delete those three data from the order table so so what we'll do is that when the cash on delivery uh, the user click on the cash on delivery those data will be deleted and those data will be uh, those data first will be uploaded to the order table then those data will be deleted so here uh, that is actually really simple uh, here we are storing all the data over here and here we are using this dollar data we are able to get the uh, name email and phone number right so we should also be able to get the id over here as well here you can see that uh, every product uh, every card has an id over here you can see this card id is 18 19 and this card id is 20 so here we'll get the id from the card table and uh, we'll get a, like delete the specific data from here so here uh, you can see that we are storing the data over here so after storing the data uh, what we'll do is we'll just declare a variable uh, let's say here dollar card underscore id equal to we'll say over here dollar data this arrow sign id so what we are doing is that uh, we are also getting the id from the card table and storing this in this variable card underscore id and after it uh, we'll just declare another variable let's say dollar card equal to we say our here card double clone we we'll say here find we'll give two first bracket and then we we'll say our here dollar card underscore id so here uh, we'll get this id from here uh, here you can see id is 18 so we'll get the id over here in this variable then we are searching for that id and after it we are just saying over here dollar card this arrow sign will say here delete so i hope you are clear uh, let me just say it again first we are trying to get the specific id then uh, we are finding that id in the card table and we are deleting that data so right now let's save it then let's just refresh here 
and right now if we click on the cash on delivery all those data should be deleted from the cart table and all those data will be stored in the order table so here you can see that uh, there is nothing in the order table and if i click on the cash on delivery here you can see there is nothing in the cart table over here and if i click refresh over here you can see in the order table we have all the data over here you can see pay payment status cash on delivery and uh, delivery status processing okay product id product underscore id is null okay let me check it product underscore id okay product underscore id call product underscore id everything looks fine uh, let me check in the database okay here product underscore id in the order table okay this is fine so in the cart table let me check this is the cart table and here you can see that uh, the p is capital not smaller and here uh this is really case sensitive that our database is actually case sensitive so we need to give capital p over here not smaller p so let's save it now so uh, this shouldn't be any problem anymore there shouldn't be so there is no data over here so right now let's go and just add a single data from here let's just add uh, this one let's go to our cart and here you can see there is a necklace if i just click on cash on delivery okay it's done there is no data over here and if i just refresh over here uh, here you can see that we have the product id right now so that issue speaks and if we go to our cart table and if we just refresh here here you can see that uh, there is no data for the user id 22 or user yamin so uh, we should do one more thing and that is after uh, like confirming the order we should uh, like show the user a message that we receive your order successfully or something like this so that's actually really simple so here you can see return redirect back so after this back we'll give this arrow sign then we'll show our here with two first bracket two single quotation and we show our here message this comma this single quotation and we'll show over here let's say we uh, received your order we will uh, let's say connect with you soon okay we have it will we have received your order uh, we will connect with you soon so we'll uh, send this message so after storing the data we'll uh, send this message to return redirect back it means showcard.blade.php basically where it came from so here you can see the head section so after this head section we're going to catch this message so let me just copy some code from my uh, admin folder let's go to admin then uh, let's go to product.blade.php and here you can see we have a session has message this is this so let me just copy it and i'll explain it don't worry and we'll paste it over here and here you can see uh, we have a if condition if session has message and this message is uh, this one here you can see message if there is any message then we are saying over here deep class alert alert success this is a bootstrap class then we also have a button to close the message here you can see uh, button type button class equal to close data dismiss equal to alert area hidden equal to true and we have a x sign over here and closing the button and after this we are showing the message we are seeing over here session get message and here we are also ending the div over here so if i now save it then if i now just refresh here okay there is no data so let's just add something so let's add this on let's go to cart and here if i click on the cash on delivery here you can see we have received your order we will connect with you soon and we have a close option over here if i click on it the message will get closed so yeah this is all so in the next tutorial we'll uh, see the pay using card option so if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section or you can uh, message me on my social media like facebook uh, i am a lot or you can also mail me if you face any problem so thank you very much for watching and i'll actually really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel if this video was helpful to you so thanks again for watching stay tuned and stay healthy